and welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. And if you heard that funny, strange noise, Cameron was opening a can of Coke. It was just at the right, <laughs> just at the right moment as we went live. So, as per usual, in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen, it's always lovely and cheerful and fun in here. And I have a super team, as per usual. So, in the kitchen, we have got Karen and Simon. Hi. Hello, what a lovely bank holiday today. <laughs> I'm sure you really loved having those fingertips rubbed in front of you, didn't you? Did you rub your little oh, yeah, cheekies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's say hello, let's give us some love hearts, come and join us tonight, we're in for a fab night. I'm not doing the demo tonight, I'm actually sitting back and doing comments. So we have brought out a new product called Sugar and Crumbs Whipping It Up. And it's whipping it up because you can whip up some biscuits, you can whip up some marshmallow fluff, you can whip up some macarons, you can make up some... Um, Swiss marrow buttercream, mousse. you can whip up some mousse, yes I forgot about that one, whip up some mousse, you can whip up some uh, pavlovas, meringues, meringue kisses, it's an all in one mix and it's how we work it at Sugar and Crumbs, uh, when we did the flavoured icing sugars it wasn't just to make buttercream, it was to tell you you could make pavlovas, meringues, you could make cheesecake, you could make ice cream, you could make cake, you could make biscuits. So basically we like mixes that make multiple uses and that's what we've done. So the new Whipping It Up comes in six flavours, okay? If you love Swiss meringue buttercream, you're gonna love this product. It's such an easy way to make it. Um, and also you've got multiple uses as well. Um, it's suitable for all diets apart from vegans. So sorry vegans, you can't have your M's on this, okay? Um, it's white in colour, it comes in a large bag, 500 grams. Traditional sugar and crumbs bags are all 500 grams. We are going to change this to a one kilo bag. So we'll have this up, not just yet, I'm just waiting for my new labels to be designed. These were just like a, a rough idea. So uh, while we were thinking about things, it's been swapped that many times, these labels, I made yeah. myself dizzy. <laughs> made myself dizzy, like this, don't like that. And you know what, I've just sent it to somebody to go and have it designed properly. So the bags are recyclable as well and um, and they're resealable, okay? Um, but having said that, once the bag is opened, it's, um, it's okay for six months. And then after that, you'll have to bin it. So make sure you use it and get another one bought and on the way to you. The flavours are salty caramel, velvet vanilla, lemon drizzle, strawberry milkshake, raspberry ripple and black cherry. They have all sold out fast. The slow burner is black cherry. What's wrong with you guys? It's the most amazing flavour. So that's been the slow one, the black cherry, but all the others flew off the shelves. And I'm sure that I'm going to see you with lots of things that you're gonna make with this. It's absolutely an amazing product. We've had a secret group working on the product for several months now, and they absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna spend some time showing you how to use it for royal icing as well, because it's perfect for royal icing. So once I get practice in my little cookies, we'll show you how to do that. We've been doing some practice in, oh, haven't we? We've done a little bit, yes. <laughs> so, um, so we've got loads of things to show you over the next few months. Now the reason I'm putting Karen up in the camera is, is that if anybody who knows this product well, it's Karen. She knows it really well. When we brought the product together, I was very much about getting Karen and somebody else from the office, the lady called Michelle, um, testing it. And they actually tested it for four days, solid, making everything for four days. And we've still been making things now, on Friday, we didn't know we could make marshmallow fluff with it. We really didn't know. One of you customers said you could make marshmallow fluff. So we tried it, and you know what? It was okay, but it wasn't quite there. But Karen has perfected the recipe. Haven't you, girl? I have. I've spent a few hours over the weekend yes. playing. So we've been chatting all weekend, and she's yes. come back to me and got Carol this, Carol that, and I'm going, listen, Karen, I have no idea. <laughs> you crack on, love. <laughs> you crack on. Just do it. Tell me what we need, and that's it. So that's why she here going to make these and Simon who never gets anything to eat who managed to chomp his way around through some uh Meringue kisses. Meringue kisses on uh, Friday night. I did, did you indeed did you yes. Did a little after you had that many. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow so Karen is going to do him a gluten-free version mm -hmm. and that version is means that there's no biscuits but let me show just, you these. You take that one off it's come out it's starting to melt. Right which one? The one on your very uh on there, that one with a bit hanging out. Ah, right, okay. I've, I've rushed them. Just rushed them. You've so rushed Karen's coming at half past six, quickly rushed to make these. So um, if it's not coated all the way round, there's a little hall of chocolate there. It's just starting to melt out. The kitchen is very warm. That's I'm gonna open warm, the doors yeah, again. Yeah, um, so we are using the gold chocolate. 
the Calibo Gold, the Calibo Dark, Calibo Milk. Um, this is the dark, isn't it? Yes. But with the black cherry fluff inside with black cherries on the top. Karen has made homemade jam. And uh, I think you learned that off. Did you learn that off, Danielle? I did. Yeah, was, yeah I saw the live she did when she did that, yeah. uh, that tart. That's right. So we have Danielle in the kitchen um, on a regular basis, but as you know, she's doing it from home. And a few weeks ago, Danielle showed you how to make some jam. Karen made it, and let me tell you now, I have never ate a slice of bread and butter so fast in my <laughs> life. So thank you, Danielle. Thank you, Karen. And believe me, if I could have got my hands on the whole loaf, I would have scoffed the lot. It is so yummy. So we'll talk to you about that as well. And I am now just going to buzz off over there, but then I thought I'm not going to buzz off just yet. I just want to tell you about our online classes. So we are getting ready for Molly Robbins' um, online first class, which is a week on Friday. You've still got time to join. You've still got time to do your bundle. Those of you who are joined, if you are not in the group, it's because you have not signed your T's and C's. Make sure you look for my email and send it back. If you can't find it, private message me and I'll send it to you again. And then you'll get in the group. Um, the group then is Carol's Cupcake Bouquet. Lots of lovely new members for there. Exactly the same. You learn, um, you le if you haven't signed your T's and C's, make sure you get them back. And I'm just about to um, open up Georgie Godbold's Cake Studio. So her online classes will be in. And I've got two more people coming online as well. So which is brilliant. It's a great way for you lot to learn at home at such a fabulous price because you pay the one price. And then after that, every lesson or live that goes on in that group is yours forever. And you can build yourself a full library of things to learn. And all these people who are coming in are going to be showing you the most amazing, wonderful things. So you will want to join them. And when you go into the individual groups, there'll be people here watching tonight, they will tell you just being in those groups is such a happy, buzzy place. No negativity, just full of love, buzzing and excitement and the excitement is what's so exciting yes, isn't it, is, it? it is, the yeah. excitement the excitement of building up for the clap and you know and the uh, for, for the class and the, the excitement so i've suffered a clap i was gonna say for clapping your hands but that's yeah, it but they, they, have, they have two more sleeps Three more sleeps. Yeah, that's how they get. Yeah, it's great. It is. It's really like children. Fun. How many sleeps they've got before yeah. the class and little things. So if you want to join those types of things, just go over to the Sugar and Crumbs website. Go to on, go to classes and join the online classes because they are a fabulous experience. And the only requirements that we ask for you in there is to be happy. Smiles are only allowed in there. Nothing else. No negativity just smiles so now i'm definitely going to buzz off out of the way right karen is there anything here you want to pop in the fridge yeah well, i'll just pop a lot in yeah. because it is very very warm i know it here. is i'll open the door yeah because i'm actually about to have a hot flush so <laughs> 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 i'll just put that there for you yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. You've, right. Warmed, you've warmed the audience up now, Carol. Are they all warmed up now? They're warmed up now. <laughs> right. So we're just going to pop them in the fridge because, as you know, the kitchen is boiling. I mean, here already, there's already eight lights just looking on this spot. So I'm going to get the door open. Let us all breathe. Uh, Karen's going to get out the fridge in a minute, and she'll be back here for you. Yes. Right. <laughs> Well, she might get out the fridge in a moment. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get in the fridge and I get out. And welcome to the stage, Hello. Karen. Welcome to the stage. <laughs> get used, Simon. Welcome to the stage. Yes, yeah, so as you all saw on the lives, this uh, on the Molly's live and the uh, mini cupcake, but I was in the garden. Yes, <laughs> I was in the garden. I've been in the garden since half past nine. I had a quick break to take a Pablo over up to a poorly friend and that was it. Back to the garden. Back to the garden. I was thinking so, about you all day today. Yeah. I thought, I she's lying there in that sun. Uh... Yeah, I, I read the book and I just, I chilled. It was yeah, really, really good. good. Well deserved. Right, so I'm just going to show you my jar. So Simon, have you got the overhead camera on please? I have. Now, this is the black. This is the black cherry fluff. Now that's, I think what's happened there. It's uh, gone a bit. I don't know. It's gone a bit dark actually. Whoa. Dark. It's gone a bit dark. I don't know what's gone on there. It's gone a bit dark. Here. It looks white. Actually, it's probably my eyes actually because I've been. I think it is. It's bright white from here, Karen. Yeah. I've been in the. I've been in the sun. <laughs> my eyes are. What I want to do. I can't see anything whiter than that. Are you, no, are you, right, you are. You are right. It's not. It's. Are no. you seeing like negative? <laughs> 
Yeah, like, yeah, and I think I've, I've burnt the retinas from the sun <laughs> today. I really have. I didn't wear sunglasses. I don't want panda, ha panda eyes. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. So what I am going to do first is I'm going to make the black cherry chocolates because I want these, uh, the shells, to set in the fridge as it is really warm in here. Oh, sorry, I'm Please, she's, still, she's still on the door, yeah. <laughs> it's real. So I want these shells to set so then I can fill them with black cherry fluff which I will make for you and then we'll top them with a nice fresh cherry on the top and it'll just look like really posh. You think you're in Harrods when you've done these. So, <laughs> absolutely. So are you answering questions tonight Carol? I'll do the questions, yeah. So these moulds are available to buy on, I mean, I got mine off the internet. Did you get them off Amazon? I did get them off Amazon, yeah. Amazon's the best place to buy stuff like that, I think. Well, I ordered it yesterday morning and it came at half past nine last night. The yeah, same day. Yeah, you were day. very excited when you were telling me. You knew exactly what time it was coming, didn't you? Yes, I did. So I was really happy it came at half past nine last night. And they're not dead, it was under a tenner. And I am really happy because it has worked out. So I have melted. I've got to be honest, many, when we first did our first gold boxes, our very first ones, they got all those mods in them. Wow. And I mean, I was looking at some. They used to sell them. Some are such a price. I know. There was some there at like 25, 30 yeah. pounds. I'm thinking, well, I'm not doing that. So, yeah. No, we, well, we used to sell them and then I, I put them all in the gold boxes. And the silicone ones, to tell you the truth, the silicone ones are the best ones to buy because you can pop your chocolate out. So when, you, when it's set, it just pops out rather than trying to force a, a solid uh, plastic tray trying to get it out. You can just pop the chocolate out and it really works. So I've melted some of the, this is the 811. You see, that's the 811 Calibo chocolate. This is the dark chocolate. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to put a big teaspoon that's one thing, you probably see me covered in chocolate by the end of the night. So I'm going to get a teaspoonful. Um, teaspoon and a half. And then uh, the back of the teaspoon, just bring it. Can you see that salmon all right? Am I all right there? Yeah. I'm just bringing... Just don't stick your head too far under the camera. I'm bringing the chocolate just up the sides so it coats. Now it runs back down to the bottom, so I know the bottom is all right. It just coats the side. Now you saw that one leaking before because um, I hadn't probably coated. Right, Karen, just to let you know your full head's over the camera. Right, you so. You do have to stand back, so either pull no, the tray. No, she's fine at the moment. No, no, she's, I've caught her several times now. Right. She won't be happy. No, so, I, no I won't. And it, no. you can't see what she's doing, no. so you won't be looking, Karen. That's fine, right. Can you see me now? Are you all right like, if I do it like here yeah. now? Yeah, pull it closer if you want. No, don't pull it closer. No, I'm all right. I'm, I can see from here. I'm, I'm going I'm going blind. There we go. I'm proving to you that I can do it. <laughs> it's just a, a case of just coating all the sides. And then I'm just going to put a tidgy bit in the bottom just to make sure the bottom's got some chocolate on. So is this melted chocolate or tempered chocolate? This was melted, but I have given it a really good stir. So I haven't tempered it, tempered it, but I've given it a good, good stir. stir. It, it, it will still come out shiny, but probably not as shiny as when you've absolutely tempered it. Yeah. Uh, the milk chocolate, Mo. The milk chocolate, I'm waiting for a delivery. I've just had a delivery, but they only had two and a half kilo bags in stock. Uh, the one kilo bags are on the way, and they are due in Calibo on the 27th. And they should be dispatched to us that day as well. So we should be getting them next week. So I'll put them back into stock on Friday. The white chocolate is coming in on the 5th of June. So when that comes in, hopefully they'll dispatch that order the same day or the following Monday and we'll have it in on the Tuesday. So that's one thing my husband, because he's been helping by testing these over the weekend. Oh yes, he's much for a fair few, hasn't he? He thinks the, the chocolate is, is wonderful. And what did he think of the mousse that you made, Karen? Oh, he loved it. See, I think this, these would be nice filled with the mousse. Absolutely. I think do these fill them with the mousse as well as the marshmallow. That would, well, yeah, because that would be, a, that's actually a really nice dessert, that, with the mousse. It's, it's, a, it's a posh dessert, that. Yeah. A mousse and, bomb. And what about, you're doing that with a spoon, what about doing it with a paintbrush? You could, but I was thinking it, clog it, it you probably get left the streaks with mm. the bristles. It might just leave the streaks going going up I the sides. Would it not start setting on the brush? I don't know. It depends how quick you are. My personal opinion is do it with a brush. I mean, I will try it with a brush. I'll get yeah, a brush out and I'll try it. Yeah. 
I think it's because I didn't have a thick brush at home. Oh, our Liam is watching. <laughs> Hello, Liam, young man. Hello, Liam. <laughs> what are you doing, nosy, not watching us on Facebook? Liam is. Uh, Liam works for us in the warehouse. He's having a little nosy, and he must be on a break because he's on nights. No, he's not. Oh, they're off. He's on holiday. He's working to, he work today. <laughs> I saw him on his way home from work. <laughs> yeah, I saw him. Oh man, I saw him in work today as well. <laughs> I don't know what day it is anymore. And the thing is, it's really worrying because I think Molly's in on Friday and she's not in the week on no. Friday. I've when you myself. Oh, when you was doing that live and you're saying next Friday, I'm thinking, he's not, he's not. <laughs> right, the moulds are silicone moulds. Do they have a particular name for these, Karen? I just put in uh, chocolate mould. Chocolate. Yeah. In fact, I put chocolate silicone mould because I didn't want the yeah. hard ones. I just put chocolate silicone mould yeah, there in. you go. Just put into some Amazon chocolate silicone moulds. Sugar and Crumbs doesn't sell them themselves. Um, I used to sell them when I first started the company, but I've got to be honest, there was no real demand for them at the time, probably because I never demonstrated them. But I'm not getting them in now. You know what? I'm going to send you off to Amazon to buy them. Well, you get, if you're on Prime as well, you, I mean, I got mine the same day. Yeah. Hmm. Right, I'm just going to do a couple of these. Mr. Bradford, hello, Mr. Bradford, watching. Tom, Paul Thomas Bradford, hello. Hello, Paul. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Dinas. Hello, Madeline. Oh, Madeline's new to the group and she's loving it. Hi, Anita. So, Karen is making. What are you making, Karen? These are uh, black cherry chocolates. They're like a. They're, it'll be like a. Um, it looks like a. Plant pot really doesn't, it? but it's 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 a posh chocolate. I'm gonna get them out of the fridge in a minute just to show you. It's a posh chocolate. Yeah. So like we're a walnut whip. Yeah, like a walnut whip. Yeah. But you Except can't. without the fluting on the sides. <laughs> yeah, yes. Exactly. So um, we are making marshmallow fluff with our um, new product called Whipping It Up. You could also make the marshmallow that Laura, my daughter, makes. So you're quite right, Joe. If you made the um, the marshmallow that Laura makes as well. Um, using the uh, flavoured icing sugars, you could make that and pour, pipe that in as well. You'd have to be very quick though, because it sets very quickly. Right, I'm just going to put these into the fridge. So, the main difference between what the fluff and marshmallow would be, would it be gelatin? Uh, there's no gelatin, we don't put any gelatin in. Yeah, no, in the um, in marshmallow. In marshmallow, oh yeah, sorry, gelatin. marshmallow's got gelatin in it. That firms it up really yeah. firm, where the fluff is much softer. So the kids love fluff. So that's the main difference, isn't it? Yeah, let's say so. Right, there it is. Get the chocolate off me. That is a black cherry chocolate. Now I've got the cylinder. Your Sam's watching. Hey Sam, are you alright mate? I've got uh, the black cherry there, and I've filled it with black cherry cream, and I've got a cherry on the top. Now you're going to see these when I, I'm going to pipe it in, and then I'm going to cover the top with chocolate. With chocolate. Yeah. So it's a box of really, isn't it? Right. I'm not going to give you the link on Amazon because I don't want to be telling you where to go and buy. What I've told you to do is go to Amazon and look for chocolate silicone molds. Okay. But we're not giving any links here. We're telling you where to go and buy it. I do not want to be responsible for any seller or you get in the wrong item. That's nothing for us to do. We've told you where to go and buy it, but please don't ask for any links. I'm going to make, I'm, well, because while well, that one's cooling in the fridge now, I'm going to make the whip in a moment. But what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to coat these bombs here so these get nice and cold. Now, I'm going to do a salt, I'm going to do the salted caramel. But I'm going to make it, I'm going to coat it in the Calabal Gold. The Calabal Gold, it just tastes like caramel. It's absolutely yeah, gorgeous. gorgeous. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to coat, I'm going to fill it with the, um, the salted caramel whip, and we're going to put some uh, caramel, this is homemade caramel sauce yeah. in rather than jam. When did we make that a few weeks ago? Yeah, it just I? keeps brilliant yeah. in the fridge. Yeah. So I'm just going to melt these. Yeah, so for the Calibo in stock, we've got all the two and a half kilos in stock. The one kilo milk, it wasn't that we didn't buy it, just Calibo didn't have any in stock. That's arriving with them on Friday. The white chocolate is arriving with them the Friday after. I've ordered the milk chocolate. It should be with us Monday or Tuesday. And the white chocolate should come to us the week out the following Monday or Tuesday. And Dina says it does sit on the brush, just never... 
She just never thought about using a spoon. Because right. it was Dina who Dina's said, would you, Dina said, would you not use a brush? But she said, you're right, it does sit on the brush. Yeah. She just hadn't thought about using a spoon. Doe Griffin uses a spoon. It's just the back of the spoon. It just tends to coat the, the sides. And I'll, I'll use the back of a spoon on this mould as well, because I've just found it just coats it so much better yeah. for me. It's, it's personal choice. Yeah, absolutely. So Linda Miles says she uses a brush. It doesn't leave any brush marks on the outside, only on the inside. Well, it wouldn't, because yeah. it's on the mould. So yeah. do the shape of the mould. Mr. Bradford is watching. Hello, Paul Bradford. So I hope you all enjoyed us on uh, Cake Flicks on Saturday. Um, put, Cake Flicks are doing sessions now. So you, we do a pre-recorded live. And what they're doing is they're showing it three times on the day. So I'm back with them on Saturday. And the reason they're showing it three times is so that they can do it for the Australian time, the American time. So the Americans will, can watch it at their time. At a reasonable and, time. Yeah, a reasonable time. And so can the Australians as well. So quite a good idea, really. So well done, Mr. Bradford. Absolutely. And Mr. Bryce. <laughs> Paul and David. It's quite posh, that, isn't it? Mr. Bradford and Mr. Bryce. It certainly is. <laughs> I've just melted the calibre gold in the microwave. Now, this took approximately right, about 90 seconds. I'm just going to give it a really good stir around. If you were using the dark chocolate, uh, you could just keep paddling and paddling and paddling it until it gets cool and that's called tempering as well isn't it Carol when you, yeah. you really give it a really good paddle until it gets cool and it gives it a really glossy coat that's nice and melted so lots of hellos for us all so hello Wendy um, you know what there's loads of hellos good audience tonight we are up to 260 Oh, I like that. Looks amaze balls. Watch your head in that camera. <laughs> She's gonna chop me head off soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to put you on a little stand, don't we? <laughs> your head's not it's in. what happens when you've got short legs. I know. <laughs> don't panic, your head's not in. Well as I do it, that's a start putting me I put my high heels on that I've not worn for years. <laughs> Claire is loving our recipe website. She said she made strawberry marshmallows and her hubby cannot stop eating them. You have great recipes and today I made the vanilla ice cream with S&C Velvet Vanilla. Oh, how nice. Can whipping it up be frozen? Yes, it can. So the whipping it up can be frozen once you've made it. Um, it depends what you're making actually, I suppose, doesn't it? What you're going to use for it. Are you going to make it into the Swiss meringue buttercream? Yes. As you can see, it's just coating nicely around the dome. But it doesn't matter if you get a bit much in the bottom because all it means is you've just got a thicker top. I'm going to give it a really good coat. <laughs> Hello, Miles. She loves the gold, but she wouldn't dare buy any because she eats it all. <laughs> Can I just tell you, this chocolate has been in the cupboard under the stairs and I have not touched You've it. You've never touched it? No. And Karen said to me, get the chocolate out. Well, I'm sat there working with Simon today and poured myself a massive big bowl of a handful of each each flavour <laughs> and stopped them off. <laughs> I mean, I'm dead good if I don't see it. It's there. Yeah, because well, it's been it's been hidden in the cupboard, hasn't it? We've we've both well, it not bothered. The thing is, I'm very good if it's put in the cat cupboard, and I'm really happy it's there. It's out of sight. Yes. As soon as you get it out, yeah, that's it. So um, Maria said, "How did you melt the chocolate in the microwave?" Put it in and turned it on. Thirty second blast. Yeah, thirty second blast, and just give it a really good stir. Don't overdo it because if you burn, there's nothing worse than burnt chocolate. Yeah, I think I agree with Jane really. 30 seconds for the first blast and then top it up with 10 second bursts. Did you do 10 second bursts or 30 No, seconds? I did 30 because I've been doing it at home weekend, so I got used to, mm. to what it was. I mm. mean, if you're not too sure, then I totally agree, do it in 10 second bursts after you yeah. do the first 30 seconds. Have a look seconds. how strong your microwave is, because yeah. I have very strong microwaves here. So. Mine's the same at home, mine's the yeah. same as like a 900, so yeah. I know, yeah. Yeah, if you've got a very strong microwave, do be careful. What are you doing, you? <laughs> Look, she's gone off now to put them in the microwave. <laughs> in the fridge, Karen. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, I've got a head full of broken biscuits today. I don't know what I'm doing. The thing is, it's rubbing off Simon. Simon came in here to do something, make a drink, came back with nothing. <laughs> he said, Carol, I actually don't know what I went in the sugar and crumbs kitchen for, didn't you, Simon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, do you put two coats of the chocolate on or one? I've actually, I mean, you can do two if you want to, but I've only done one, but yeah, I've done quite a thick one. 
Is this mine, Miss? Uh, yes, that was yours. If you, yeah, that was yours because it was the, the reject. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can smell the black cherry. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the chocolate to one side. I'm going to make the black cherry whipping it up. Oh my God, they're Fluff. Good. They're good. Is that in the right position there, uh, Simon? <laughs> yes. It's a pity we can't get Carol's face on camera because she's oh covered in fluff. <laughs> Must have been John was as well when he came in before and he was he, he, he tasted he one. Had one as he, well? he was he was my tester for the ones I did at week. He was right. Well, on. what I did yesterday, yeah. Black mm. cherry. 120. I'm only doing it in 125 grams. Now this fills around six. I would say about nine bombs, uh, nine tea cakes. If you don't want to make more than that, uh, if you I mean you could double it up if you wanted to make a load, but I found that nine is probably. Just about right. You can only eat one. Yeah, they're absolutely. Sick, yeah. They're very sickly. They're, yeah. they're not little, are no. they? They're big. They're like, they're like, what, they're like your giant tea cakes. They're like yeah. the, the size of your big tonics. So it's uh, your, tonic, your tonic marshmallow. So it, you don't want to eat more than one. No, you only want one. So 125 grams of whipping it up. And this is the black cherry flavour. That black cherry is gorgeous. That's really rich. Now it's very precise, this. Remember, I've been practicing 52 mils of tepid water <laughs> not 53 52 no, definitely not 51 <laughs> what about 51 and a half karen 52 it has to say 52 where did you get 52 from because it says 53 <laughs> No, that's because it's a bit on there, it's all right. I got, because um, when I have the mixture and I have the water, I wanted to put the magic ingredient in. So right. I had to take that water away to allow ah. for the magic ingredient. Right, very good. 52 mils of water. So Linda Mauer said, do you put two coats of chocolate on or one? I only put one, but please, if you want to put two on, absolutely. A lot of people my, did two yeah, on the... My uh, personal opinion is put two on, just to make them stronger. Yeah, because the, the the one I running, just if it's yeah. running down, yeah. it might get loads in the bottom. But. but for today, you're only getting one coat, okay? But I, yeah. my personally would do two, yeah. only because, um, like that one, I'd like a little gap Air in hole it, in it, yes. And then it's leaking out, so yeah. that's good. So just get, get this mixing up a little bit and then I will uh, scrape it all down because I want to make sure all the powder is mixed into the liquid. Oh, I tell you, you've been on it with the ice cream you lot, haven't you? Well done. <laughs> well, it's the weather for it, isn't it? Absolutely. Nutty Elaine. Nutty Elaine. And Elaine, please change your name. Yeah, we have to shout out Nutty Elaine, can we? People think we're insulting her. She's made salty caramel ice cream today and black forest. Oh, there's nothing better than salty caramel oh, ice cream. Yes. So I've just made sure that all, that's all mixed in because I'm going to now, I'm going to whip this up now until it is soft peaks. If any of you have been my product testers on that, feel free to give comments. We've had a secret group where everybody has been testing. While this mixing it up, I'm just going to get the cups out again to see how we are. So I think Leslie likes my comment, a head full of broken biscuits. <laughs> That's exactly how I've been today. <laughs> right, they set. So just while I'm waiting for whipping it up to whip up, I'm going to give it a quick coat and give it another coat again. Yeah. Because I can see a, I can see a, um, a few gaps. Yeah, Wendy's laughing because she's got the subtitles on. Wendy, if you've got the volume down, it will show you subtitles. I find it does make you laugh, they are funny. It drives me insane watching them, so I've turned mine off. But uh, she said she's hearing herself laughing uh, because the subtitles on it clearly doesn't understand our accent for some words, and she has tears streaming down her face. I must admit, when I watched one of the live back the other night, it picked something up I said, I went, I never said that. And it was, it was something really obscure that they told me that I'd said. <laughs> so I am using a paintbrush, Vinaz, and you are right, it is coating it fine. Maybe I would use a, a paintbrush for my second coat. So they're only wanting to make sure that I've filled in all the little air holes more than anything. Don't we start turning subtitles on now? 
You're meant to be watching the live. They all want to turn the subtitles on. Oh, then. no, don't. It'll oh. drive you. It'll drive you. Absolutely bat it. It is funny, but it will drive you mad because what will happen is you'll be reading it and not paying attention to the live. So just give them a miss. And then you get in trouble. Believe you me, I turned mine off and it absolutely drives me insane. So uh, Dina says her husband's listening to what you're making and he's drooling. Oh. What a shame, I can't ship him over, Dina. Oh, isn't that nice? Alison Morris said, my daughter has just looked over my shoulder and said, with a concerned voice, where's Carol? And, she, and she's 10. Oh. So said, there's a, there, she's there, her response was, oh, two metres away. Is that <laughs> Yeah, she's, she's here, but she's doing the social distancing. Yeah, a lot of people saying they would do two coats. I would do two coats. Nutty Elaine loves her nutty name. Well, Elaine, that you don't mind us keep calling you Nutty Elaine, we'll carry on. Yeah. Your chocolate's that. So if you, want, if you want the moulds, okay, you buy them off Amazon or eBay. Just put in chocolate silicone mould. There's no links going to be given in this live, and I don't want any links. We are not responsible for sellers online, okay? So go and do a Google search, go into Amazon, sort it out yourself. But if we're not sharing links, it's not for us to do that. I'm just going to tell you where to go. Right, I've done a second coat. I'm just going to put it up in the fridge. Um, I'm going to have to just have a little bit more dark chocolate. So Sandra, we're using a new product called Whipping It Up today. The whipping up a storm in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. We and Karen's on speed. I'm on speed. On speed dial. <coughs> yes, Alex, I would say the sides need two coats because the bottom thickens up with what drips down. Definitely the sides. Yeah, that's what I tend to do then, was just get the sides more than anything. Yeah. Ooh, got a gentleman called Roland watching. Good evening, Roland. Right, I've, I've whipped that now, and it's not still not quite thick enough, but as you can tell, I'm going to take this off. So Helen Burnham sent me her recipe. She used 75 grams of water of whipping it up and 40 mils of water. Um, and, and they were perfect, so no secret ingredient. But we're adding a secret ingredient. Secret ingredient, ingredient yes. All well, because I was looking on the internet, <laughs> as um, what Peter Kay would say, and I was looking at what uh, the uh, Americans put in their American pot, and this is the secret ingredient that I found. So if you're in Ireland, we have a supplier in Ireland called Kate's uh, Stuff for Kate. We also have the Sugar Sisters as well, both of them, and they both sell our icing sugar. Stuff the cakes of it in Ireland, but actually been selling our sugar for a very long time now. Yes, Iris, the product is called Whipping the Cup. That's not that mother, is it? Yes. In fact, she's actually responding to somebody else. Oh. She wasn't asking. <laughs> I can now see in shaded out words replying to Sandra. That's okay, I thought my mum had lost her marbles yeah, then. No, no. I didn't see the shaded out bit. I thought she said, is it the new product called Whipping It Up? But no, she was responding to somebody. Yes, Louise, I agree with you. Take the subtitles off for a nightmare. So, Karen, are you able to repeat what you've got in the mixing bowl? I bowls? certainly am. In the mixing bowl, I have 125 grams of... Mm. Sorry, I'm not... I'm, yeah, I've got 125 grams of sort of black cherry whipping it up. Which is the black cherry flavor, because I'm making black cherry chocolate, the cherry on the top. 125 grams of black cherry whipping it up. I have 52 mils of tepid water. 
and it is looking up really nice now so I'm going to put the secret ingredient in which isn't going to be a secret in the next two minutes. <laughs> I'm just laughing with Helen Miles here. So she said I love the whipping it up. She was in the secret group. She's made shortbread biscuits, meringue kisses, pavlova, mousse. The grandsons couldn't get enough of the mousse. My daughter loved the meringue kisses and well everything I made just disappeared. I must admit, I um, took the meringues up that we, you made on Friday yeah. and dropped them off for the grandchildren and uh, they just loved them. Chelsea yeah. was just throwing them down her throat. They, they were so chewy. Yeah. Right, here's the ingredient. It's 30 mils of golden syrup. That's what we like. Good old golden syrup. Golden syrup. In America, they use corn syrup, which when I googled corn syrup, it says in the UK, it's known as golden syrup. Anita, to take your subtitles off, just go to the top of the page. Go to the top of your, go to the top of the live. I'll just press it for you. And and there's a cross where you can close the live and three dots. Touch the three dots and drop down and turn off auto captions. Now just giving this, just giving this chocolate a really good stir while I'm just waiting for the syrup to mix in with the uh, whipping it up. It Turn just... the food mixture off, Karen. Sorry? Turn the food mixture off. Right, there's an interesting one here. I just missed that comment. Yeah. Where is it? Somebody's just said they've been to watch a film. Oh, Michelle Ward, your rice and sugars were in the background of the newest nativity film. I was so excited to see them. You must reveal. You must yeah. say which film, and we'll get that on capture. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Like, tell us, Michelle. Tell us more. Right, tell yeah, not, absolutely. You've not paid for product placement. Eh? Hey, what is there? It just thickens it. It just thickens it up so that when you cut the tea cake in half, it holds its shape and doesn't start to to come out. Because when I was doing it at weekend and I didn't use the syrup, when I cut it, yeah, it's nice and I could eat it, but it did start to to dribble, and I did get it all over the face. That's Carol did a minute ago. When <laughs> It just starts to dribble. Well, so. tell me what your daughter said, because your, your daughter's been stopping these for fun all week, yeah. she? My daughter is like the fluff queen, and I don't mean that right rude. <laughs> Do you mean like, she loves fluff the, the, uh, in the jars that you can get in the supermarket. Uh, and, and she tasted the first one and said, well, it's all right, boy, it's just very runny. So I did it with the 15 mils of the um, golden syrup. And she said, well, you get in there, it's still not the right texture. So I doubled it to 30 mil. She comes and she went, my God, you've got it. It's fluff, it's fluff. So I'm happy because she knows the fluff. <laughs> because she, it's one of those that now, she actually got a biscuit and she could spread it on the biscuit without it dripping. And she knew then that's how I've got the right, te that's how I've got the right texture. Oh, she was eating biscuits, she was eating everything. So I've whipped, I've mixed the chocolate. So let's have a look at this now. That is a lovely, gooey consistency. See that? Just let me answer Elaine Lawton's question. So Elaine, in answer to your question, if you go onto the recipe website for Royal Icing, Sugar and Crumbs Royal Icing, the whole content is there for you. Susan Richmond, whipping it up is absolutely amazeballs. <laughs> I'm just going to show you here now. So can you see how it's it's not falling off the palette knife, and it's it's a real good spread. So when you get the fluff in the jars, like, could you pass one of those biscuits, please, Carol? That are over. Ooh, one of these, I think it's mine. Yeah, the ones that you keep trying to eat. These, these are the bottom ones. <laughs> your private. Stash. I thought it was my private stash. I'm a bit gutted she's asking for one. So as you can see, it actually spreads on the biscuit. So you could actually do s'mores if you wanted yes. to. Because you've got the marshmallow like that. So you could actually yeah, put a blow torch over it. Oh, stick put, another one to it. I think somebody wants one. <laughs> those who are in Molly, oh, sugar. Those who are in Molly's um, club, you need to be making these biscuits. Yes. Right, there's your s'mores. Yeah. You see, they're called s'mores because they're so good you always want s'more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> they are good. Oh, they are good. 
Mm. The black cherries whipped up. I'm going to put Could the black... you put them in the fridge for a little bit to hold? You don't have to with that one. I have with the tea cakes because I wanted the, the chocolate to, to firm more. I need to coat them in more. chocolate now. Oh, I've made like a wagon wheel. No, what you could do with, really, if you wanted to, is if you do a proper s'more, you'd have to put the marshmallow fluff between two chocolate digestives. Oh, right. And that is a s'more between two, two between this two. This is a diet version. That's a diet version. Well, we don't the chocolate on chocolate. the outside or the inside? The chocolate's on the inside. Ah. Uh -huh. Is it? Yes, the chocolate's on the inside, because what you can do at the campfire, if you're having a campfire, is you get a chocolate digestive, you toast a marshmallow at the campfire, put it on the chocolate, then put the other chocolate on, and it melts it so that all the uh, all the chocolate melts with the toasted marshmallow. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm never going to twist them. <laughs> got a mouthful of biscuits, a mouthful of chocolate, it's shocking. You're trying to be good though, because you've got a tangerine there, I'll give you oh, that. No. <laughs> Lisa Brown just put on. Good evening, ladies. I'm sitting in the pinky. Carol knows. Watching, absolutely class. <laughs> She's got, now got a new pink cake room. <laughs> oh, right. I thought I, I did not you say sat there with nothing on there. There's all sorts of in there, no dear. Yeah. You're the plug queen. She sat in the pinky. What else have we got going on? <laughs> now, I'm only filling these about a centimetre from the top because I want to put the chocolate on so that it sets nice. Oh, the same drizzle chocolate over it, dip chocolate in it. I tell you, you've all gone mad for that whipping it up on Friday. We sold out. And you're all gone velvet vanilla mad. The top sellers was velvet vanilla, salted caramel, strawberry milkshake, raspberry ripple. Black cherry was falling behind. I tell you what guys, seriously try this black cherry, mm. especially when it's in chocolate in the dark chocolate, it just brings it alive. Jackie Adams, I like this. I'm on the sugar and crumbs diet. Well, I am. The way I look at it, make thin biscuits rather than thick ones. Yeah. Make only one layer of cake rather than a thick one. Yeah. Drizzle the icing. Yeah. Isn't it? Just do everything by half, you'll be fine. Well, this is whipped up. It's quite light, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Lovely and light. Lovely and light. <laughs> Syrup in it, you know. For yeah. Sure. Michelle's just telling me, dip me tangerine in it. <laughs> Don't give her ideas. I know. She doesn't need no encouragement, do you, Carol? <laughs> yeah, Louise says she's just started back on Slimming World. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah, the Slimming World version is half a one. <laughs> it's a lick. <laughs> Share it with your husband. Share it, you can have a lick. <laughs> right, so put the, um, the whipping it up now into the cases, and I'm just going to get a nice spoon. I'm just going to put, I'm just going to fill to the top, making sure it's touching the edges so that all the uh, the chocolate, don't try and come too far over because it won't stand up, and I found out before, didn't I Simon, mm. one fell over. Yeah, you need to make sure it's, it's not mounted up in the middle, yeah. you need to make sure it's, it's, if anything, there's a hollow in the middle. Everything's back in stock Helen, John's topped up the stock tonight. So everything's back in stock. The only thing that's not in stock at the moment is the chocolate in one kilos. We've got it in two and a half kilos, not one kilos. But the whipping it up is back in stock tonight. Yeah, Donny, you're absolutely right. Stick a walnut whip on top. Karen did try to get the moulds as the walnut whippy ones, yeah. but there was none. And we think that's probably because walnut whippy owned them. Yeah, I think it, it must be it must be that's the trademark. What looking for, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I really was looking for. And everywhere on Amazon, I looked, I couldn't. So the nearest we'll get was was these ones. But they changed them. Well, all no the whips. They just called the them. Well, they called they them. Now? They just called whips because they started taking the walnuts off. But sometimes you oh, still because of the nut allergy. Yeah, but you still can get the walnut no, no, whip. In the seventies. Yeah. They weren't. They're, they're quite smooth now, aren't they? No, they're still round. They're still, no, they're they're still, still round. I they're think still, they're the cheapest yeah, no, no, supermarket I mean, brown ones then. Oh, are they? Come on. Are they <laughs> the copies. Like, 
<laughs> they still the whirl, like, you know, like you get the hazelnut whirl, they still look like them. I think right. it's when all the other stores copy them. Right. That, that's so what we're doing here, a copy. <laughs> a copy of a walnut whip with but, a cherry on. <laughs> so it's cherry, you know, it, it, and it's, it's black cherry and inside. And these are great for those little plant pots as well, Absolutely. Aren't they? Yeah. I've filled those now, so what I'm going to do now is put these in the fridge to set while I get on with the uh, salted caramel ones for you because these will, these will take a good 10 minutes to set on the top now. Quick questions, because of the moulds, is that the small You've one? You've got lumps this on there, the Karen. This was the, me the medium, this was the medium mould on, on Amazon. What are you saying, Simon? It's, it's, it's lumps. Been, it's it's lumps. Been, lumps on there. It's not lumps on it at all, I'm just going to I'm going to kill Sticking it. Sticking up. I'm going to kill it, don't worry, he's for it. He's, he's for it when I get hold of him. Right, that's fine now. There's not not a thing sticking up there now. You you wait, Simon. You think you're getting a gluten free tea cake? <laughs> yeah, that's his gluten free tea cake out the window, isn't it? Oh just ruined gosh, it. gosh darn it! <laughs> did you save any cakes? But what did your girlfriend think of her cupcake okay, by the way? Very nice. Yes. She did did you give her any cake? Any uh, brownies at the weekend? Yes. Oh, good, good, good. Today, definitely. Right. Good. 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 So put the oh, look at that, Karen Naylor. Oh my goodness, we can now make our own wagon wheels. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> that are the size that, the, that we remember as kids. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? When Karen, we can, we can make them like that. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're a kid, they are yeah. massive. But I don't think they probably were, really. No, I just think they had gone small. My husband sweats so big why they've gone small. But your head was smaller. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that's the thing. Right, there we go. So the next mixing bowl. Oh, Sue Simpson had the Swiss meringue lemon flavour and said it was amazing. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it gorgeous? So do make sure that your bowls are grease free. <laughs> you listen to Jay McDougall said, Hubby just said, I thought Carol was on a diet. He's been secretly listening to the lives. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> a lot of husbands secretly listen, they don't do. they? I get a lot, of, a lot of the ladies who say that their, their husbands are like, why have you turned the sound off? <laughs> Why have you got your headphones on? <laughs> <laughs> what are you pressing by there? <laughs> 125 grams of salted caramel whipping it up. Oh, we've got the black cherry fans in now. Absolutely. That black cherry smells divine in this kitchen. Oh, they are. The Slimming World one is just a sniff. There, that's the version. Sniff it. I'm not going to Slimming World. I've got with our flavours. You can sniff yeah. them. Uh, to be fair, our flavours are lovely. So remember, 52 mils. Yeah, Lisa Miles to house. He says every time I watch these lives, she puts on five pounds. I know, it's... it's, it's... Oof, I'm going to put on a friggin' stone with this lot, I tell you. I feel fat already. I'm popping out my bra, I think. <laughs> You've uh, not sorry, much. Simon. Not much information. <laughs> If you weren't here, I'd whiz it off <laughs> and let the man loose. Really? <laughs> Kill a few people. <laughs> these would be called bombs if I drop these. <laughs> Will you stop it? It's Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be aiming so I don't know if that John's listening. <laughs> We've got the door open in our offices next door. Me and Simon were in there and I was going, Kitchen, can't you, Simon? And we're like that. Okay. We're here with you, to you and John. We didn't need to hear wig, it was really nice, yeah. wasn't it? Nice, that's John. Can you hear everything in there? So it's because the door's open. Yeah. As soon as we shut our office door, yeah. we couldn't hear. No. But here, the in there, here we go. I'm just going to get mix this now. That's funny. Don't worry about your weight, you won't be carrying the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Scrape down in the bowl. Um, Lynn, are you talking about the little purple spatulas? Are we out of stock again already? Do you know they fly out? Yeah. Absolutely fly. Um, I, I did ask, I just put them all in stock. I can't believe they've all gone again. But I have got another order on the way. Just to um, whip up that, so I'm just going to quickly 
to be white in colour. It's suitable for all diets apart from vegans, okay? And you can use it to make shortbread, Swiss meringue buttercream, macarons, um, pavlovas, meringues, meringues kisses, mousse, royal icing, fluff, which is what we're making now. And we're still playing. Still playing because I've still got ideas. Uh, still playing. Well, I've got an idea. I'm just waiting for me um, things to arrive. And then if then we'll be playing with that this week. And if that works, we'll be showing you on Friday. Okay. Okay. Right, that fluff is, as you can tell, it is nice and gooey. It's fluff. <laughs> You're harder to kidnap when bigger. That's good. In fact, I was, it's not as gooey as the other one, so just bear with me a second. There's a trouble with that. Quick wicks, but it wasn't quite, it wasn't quite at the thing so long as it was. Yeah, thing, isn't it? That's my fault because I could actually stop it. Oh, 
pick up that's nearly there now. And my uh, caramel is spilled. All right. Yeah, they like take your bra off. The best way to get rid of wrinkles, take your bra off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think if me and Cameron took ours out, we'd friggin' bulldog Simon out of there. <laughs> Apparently, I need to make more noise. You need to make more noise. <laughs> I'm just going to warm the caramel up for five seconds in the microwave. Now this caramel is on our website, it's homemade caramel sauce. It's absolutely mad easy to make and keeps in the fridge for weeks. Yeah. Oh, a friend of mine has just popped up. Hello Dion. Don't normally see you watching my lives, young man. How is Adele? Yeah, right. I'll do a snap while, we're, while I'm here. Right. Here, can't you just use a proper biscuit? Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. That's it. <laughs> oh, Donna's just saying her husband watched um, Ryan's sourdough bread and he's now bought the jars and apples. He said he's going to do them. Get him to do the crumpets as well when it's ready. Oh, it looks absolutely well, it? amazing. My daughter is back on. Hopefully, we're going to sort the wire sort the Wi-Fi out for Laura's, but she's back on on Thursday making a roulade for you. Oh, Laura's roulade is lovely. Uh, Lauren, you want a 1M Wilton. You can use a 2D, but I prefer the 1M Wilton. Oh, I'm I tell you, there's a lot of people who don't wear bras, we'll let them lang loose. If I left mine hanging loose, they'd be touching my toes. Proper droopies. <laughs> Stop it. Well, they're not droopy now, but if I left them hanging loose, quite firm actually, to be fair. I'm very lucky. I'm just putting a small dollop of this, of these, uh, whipping it up into the bottom of the case. Because I'm going to put the caramel on before I cover it again. Karen Naylor, Monday night, ten a night. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. I'll be looking at that after. She emailed you. She texted you. There we go. I can't believe we sold out of mousse chocolate. I'll have to have a look. I only put it in on Friday night. If, I, if we're out of mousse, I'll buy some more. It'll be in by Friday. It doesn't matter if you get a bit on your mould because when you take the um, the chocolates out of the mould, the other bits stay behind. So I'm just going to do a dollop, little squeeze of the homemade caramel sauce just into the centre. In uh, Dean, as in answer to your question, we've got two new products coming for the USA. I'm just having the packaging finalised, and I think you're going to be highly delighted. And we've also got a supplier in the USA, a very well-known supplier, that providing we do it in this new packaging, we'll take it and then you'll all go to them. Can't tell you yet, still a secret. And all I'm doing now, I'm just covering the caramel sauce with some more whipping it up, just to cover it. I'm with you, Jane. I can whip off my brow in secret without anybody knowing. <laughs> Funny how we can do that, though, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Aye. It's just some kind of sorcery, that. <laughs> that is, right? uh, the pink ball tool sets are on the way. They should be back. So it should be here soon. So you're liking the idea of the bigger bags of cream cheese. Somebody private messaged me just to remind me to ask James tomorrow. I do think they're actually on the shelf. I think I've just not put them on the website. I'm just putting a bit more in these two here because as Simon has been cheeky, I shouldn't really do it. I'm doing his gluten free one for him. Oh, thanks, yes, thanks, Karen. I know. And the plain I cocoa powder. I wasn't being cheeky. I just didn't <laughs> want you ended up with wobbly towers. Yeah. <laughs> the plain cocoa powder. Send me a message, Nikki, to remind me. And the coffee flavour, Jackie, we do. We do a lovely coffee flavour called vanilla latte. Oh, it's beautiful. 
That's what our diet cake's made with. <laughs> Isn't it, Carol? What? Our diet cake with a little yeah. lassie. Right, yeah. Leslie, I'll look at the mousse. I can't believe I only put it in stock on Friday. I can't believe we sold out already. I've made some of the shortbread biscuits and I used the mini cut. I just used the cutter and measured the cutter against the the mould and I found one which would fit like that. So I put the biscuit in and squeeze down slightly because I want the biscuit to go. What's wrong now? Lisa Bowers has just said her husband's walked in and said, have you put on five pounds? I've just heard it on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> no secrets there then. <laughs> And I'm just going to cover. See, Sam and yours has got no biscuit in now. It's just, it's yours is just a fluff bomb. Yeah. A fluff bomb. Those lovely uh, measuring spoons, Joe. They are lovely. And if anybody likes the measuring spoons, just go to just search on our website, measuring spoons. We've got some beautiful ones on there. Crikey, I'm going to have to do some shopping. I thought I filled everything up. Is it all been going out again? Yeah, the chocolate, the small one kg are out of stock, but the two and a half are in. Simon has become quiet, Dina says. He wants the tea cake. He's been a good <laughs> lad. I can bribe him, Dina, with food. Yeah, they're done now, though. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, you say. You watch it. I'll oh. put a biscuit on top. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going over I'm just going over the edge slightly just so that the biscuit is completely covered. Yeah, you don't want the biscuit detaching from the I don't I just want to make sure that the cream's not going to pop out the bottom. Linda, Linda Diamond says I'm popping out of everything since I joined this group. <laughs> yeah but we're all happy though aren't we of course we are that's what's so fun about being in the sugar and crumbs kitchen you know i i don't take myself seriously and i told karen either as well you know what let's do lives in the kitchen and let's just enjoy ourselves just have fun. and we just we're just like you guys at home do you know what i mean we don't profess to be professionals we don't profess to know it all and we're not going to say that what we do is everything is right what we are doing is figuring it out our own way and by figuring it out our own way, and the main thing is, it's homemade, it's made with love, and we've had fun making it, and that's all you need to do. And that's what it is, and that's what it is, and people love it, because you've made it with love. Right, the chocolates in the fridge seem to be set. Dum, dum, dum. Now I have got a little bit of mixture left, Carol. So I can, if you would like me to, I can uh, Just melt eat down it some. With a spoon out of the bowl. <laughs> you can eat it with a spoon, Carol, or I can melt some white. I'm not going to and some... stuff myself in that much. I feel sick. Do you want me to melt a little bit of uh, the ruby calabos so people can see some nice pink ones? Yeah. Just put that in before I bring my chocolate out. What flavour's the pink? Ruby flavour. Have you ever had ruby flavour before? What? <laughs> It's a made-up flavour. It did tell me the story on how it came about the ruby. There's no such thing as a ruby cocoa bean. No, though, there isn't. There? No, no, there isn't. And the Calibo man did tell me the story on how it came about. The actual ruby flavour came about because they... I'm not sure if I've got this story right. I'm sure it's about something like they burnt the chocolate or something. Something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, and, um, and they came out, they thought they'd ruined this whole batch of chocolate. And um, as it happened, it worked, it was lovely, and everybody loves it. So uh, I'll have to get the full story on it, but it was a complete fluke on how it came about. Yeah, because you can't get a ruby, there's no such thing as a, no. as, a, as a ruby cocoa bean. Carol, you ready for this? Come on now. With it being silicone, this is what I love. Can you see this all right, Simon? You're on the front at the moment, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, look at that, that popped out nice, did it? Wowzers. Shall we give you a nice turn tape? Yeah, put them on that lovely table Oh, there. thank you. I want to put my cherry on as well. Yeah. So do you want to stick that in the tray now? Yeah. Oh, they look nice, don't they? And these are great if you just want to... A little, how easy they A little out. dinner party or... You didn't have to grease them or anything? No, I just... Yeah. No. And yeah. as you can tell, the chocolate's looking a bit shiny because it was tempered slightly. Right, how long does it make, keep for once you made it into um, fluff? Now, I was reading up on that and it says you can keep it for three weeks. Oh, hello, Diana. 
family member watching. Is the whipping it up made with egg white? Yes, it's got egg white in it, so it's not suitable for vegans. Um, Elizabeth, could we make a roulade with the whipping it up? Do you know what? Our Laura's making a roulade on um, Thursday night with the icing sugars. I don't see any reason why you can't make it with the whipping it up, um, but we haven't tried it yet. It's just another thing for us to try. The caramel sauce, Helen, I made on a live a few weeks ago. When did we make that, Karen? It's when we was doing, what was we doing? We were doing cheesecakes. Yeah, we were. And the caramel, well, it is, if you put caramel sauce in the website, on the recipes, it comes up straight away. Yeah. Put it on the recipe, go onto our recipe website, Helen, and it's there. But I only made it a few weeks ago on the live. I think it's something so it like, it's, it's like, like weeks ago. yeah, it's like, it's like 200 grams of um, granulated sugar. I uh, think it was four tablespoons of water and then it's like a hundred and I think it's 125 grams of butter and like 40 odd mils of cream I think but well, the recipe recipes there and it's so easy all you've got to remember is do not stir right Jackie send me a message will you I'm glad you've said that to be fair um, we are going to make strawberry milkshake flavored icing sugar we've already had a batch and it tastes amazing and uh, I've got to be honest, I'm that busy at the moment doing that many things. I've completely forgot to send the, fly, the supplier the flavour in, and you've just reminded me. <laughs> so just send me a message. Well, I'm <laughs> send the flavour into the supplier. All I'm doing but, is I'm just dipping the cherries in a bit of the dark chocolate, just so that they'll set on, they'll set, and they'll stick to the top. You've got to let the bad boys out in this hot weather. Let me just bring this down here. So I get chocolate everywhere, don't I, Carol? Yeah, you do, don't worry. They look so fantastic. Bring those to the centre like that. Well done. So they what look I've done brilliant. is I've just I've just used a little tiny bit of uh, melted chocolate just to stick the cherry to the top and they are Oh my god, all of you get the love hearts going for them. Cherry chocolates. Yeah. And they, they will be great at terrible. a dinner party, at parties, they'll be absolutely super your, your guests will love them. Because it's like biting into a walnut whip, but a bit more gooey. In, fact, in a bit, when I put them in the fridge for a bit, just to harden up, and then we'll cut into one so you can see what the inside looks yeah. like. Yeah, they look very, very good. You put them in the fridge on the stand. Now, yeah. your dad's watching now. Oh, your dad's watching now. <laughs> <laughs> so he should. He should be very proud of her. I tell you, she's been like on speed tonight. It must be all that fluff she's eating over the weekend. How much have you eaten over the weekend, Karen? Actually, not a lot. To tell you the truth, I just have my daughter feeding my daughter with it with a spoon. <laughs> I was too busy kind of coating everything. I think it's like my kitchen's a lot, lot smaller than this one, Carol, and it looked like World War Three. It just looked Did it? <laughs> well, this kitchen looks like World War Three every day, doesn't it? We tidy it up, and, and then um, it's all a mess again. So this is the ruby chocolate. Now, just I've only done this for sixty seconds, and it is hot enough that if you keep stirring it round, it will melt. And I'm just going to coat. A couple of the uh, the moulds with this, and I'll I'll melt some white, and I'll coat a couple of the moulds with white as well, so you can see the different coloured bonds. Oh, well, cherry Kirsch, you could put in with that uh, fluff, couldn't you? Oh, like the Kirsch, the Kirsch, the Kirsch stuff. That's oh, it. Yeah. I think I knew I would get the word no. right. Kirsch. <laughs> I don't drink me, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> They'd look great with strawberry on, yeah. So if you use the strawberry flavours, yeah. strawberry on. Yes. Oh, the ideas are coming yeah. in now. I was thinking of raspberries, like raspberry ripple, put yeah. your raspberry on the top. Yeah. Could even put a raspberry inside. Yes. Try fixing I, the fluffy chocolate. Would, I would if you did it. That put a bit of that in and then drop the raspberry actually inside with the fluff. You'd have to eat them probably though fairly quick. You'd have to eat them straight away, really, wouldn't you? It'd be one of those things that you'd be eating them uh, at, at the party or wherever you're doing yeah. them. Yeah. Have you tried mixing the fluff with chocolate with the color bit? We haven't. Do you want to do a little bit with the with the chocolate? See what happens. I'm sure. It, I'm sure. Like a, a, a fondant yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. Why do you make some and then we can? Uh, chocolate type. She's just melting the chocolate now. Yeah, we I could will. mix some chocolate in it and then we could actually get pink fluff. Oh, <laughs> pink, I will, I will. Would it be a, chink, uh, a pink chocolate fluff? I've <laughs> 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 got the word chink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carol, you do make me laugh. But uh, I need to get my words sorted out. I swear to God, I'm dyslexic. Honestly, there's something wrong with me. I want to... Um... 
want to make a, a black, another black, I just want to make a black cherry bomb for you because I want to show you my homemade jam. Yeah, they're saying, Karen, you like a whip it. You are, you like on speed tonight. Friday was amazing. Cranky, you were on it on Friday, weren't you? You smashed the whole lot out. Well, I say, Karen, do you know it's ten past nine? I've had an hour. Oh, good grief, I've brought my record. Yeah, nearly done. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly done, they won't know what to do with themselves. No, I've not, nearly, I've not nearly done, no. It means it's usually when I do me half eleven oh, lines. Yeah. I, I, we, somebody just said that, Jane just said there she could put them on a chocolate transfer sheet. Um, I've got one, I should have brought one, you know what I did? I bought them, I, like, I bees got, all over I've it. Got, eh? I've got bees all over my chocolate transfer sheet. Oh, have you? I got, you I've, could make your own chocolate transfer sheet, couldn't you? I could, but I just, got them, I, I just bought them. <laughs> like you just paint on a piece of... Yeah. On the yeah, but you'd have to then you'd have it's to wrap it around the cake quick. Yeah. yeah. But you could put that in the mould really, couldn't you? Yeah. Right, here we could go. You? So could what you do what? that? Could, could you put the, the transfer sheet in the mould? Yeah, you could. I don't see any reason why you couldn't. Could I have that mould a minute just to do a couple of shelves yeah. and then I'll mix the rest with this um just checking the dry bit. Well you could paint just paint in the mould. Yeah. Yeah. You know when you don't have any Oh, I've got no spoons left, I've used all my spoons. I'll just excuse me a minute while I just go and um, wash a spoon. We've got no spoons got left. Spoons. How many spoons have you used? There was loads in there. Loads. I've got a teaspoon, I just wanted a dessert spoon. Yeah, I've got a spoon. Well, everybody's loving it, Karen. So hasn't Karen done well? Don't forget all your love hearts, everybody. Let her know how well she's done. If anybody knows this product inside out, Karen does. She's been playing with it since we brought it out for development. Karen has been like team leader. She's on it. <laughs> team leader of herself. <laughs> Karen, get in there and play with that. <laughs> I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a manager of me, uh, me whipping it up. <laughs> no, this is a... But to be fair... Is ringing me. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that pops is just about to pop up on the screen here. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see in a moment. <laughs> Apologies for that phone ringing. My son sound. is about to go live. My son is doing a live for the Jewish community, and uh, I think he's got an audience, a big audience watching. So I know he's having a bit of a panic. So I'm just going to run off. You want to and, uh, our show? <laughs> uh, pardon. <laughs> I'm just going to run off and check that he is because he was asking me about something before. Right. Oh, that's nice. Most of the cleverest people are dyslexic. Oh. <laughs> like that. You keep it right, that one. Go I, right think we, I think we got away with that. <laughs> I'm just going to do three of these with the... This is the ruby chocolate. They had a spate... Did you, know, did you ever try... Did you ever try the ruby Kit Kats that came out, Simon? Uh, there was ruby Kit Kats that came out. No, because they're, they're, oh, they're the wafer, biscuit, wafer yeah. aren't they? Yeah, they had a they had a spate of going through. I didn't I didn't like the Kit Kat, but I do like the ruby chocolate. Yeah, a bit of a, I'll, yeah, I've tried it. I think. Yeah. Pink pink chocolate. Yeah, so I'm just going to bob those into the fridge for a moment. Yeah, on. see what happens, yeah. I'll just get a little bowl out. Bit of experimentation, see how it sets. Let's do it. So I've got a bit of the whipping up here. We might as well, rather than waste it, we might as well use it. Now Simon, put in some, Just put some, put some chocolate in. I don't know what's going to happen with it. No, none of us know. This is every experimentation live it in is. the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. How much have you put in? I'm going to put much. a dessert spoon, I'm going to put another dessert spoon in. 
I need to save some for the bottom of my bombs, you see. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to put a little dessert spoon in. Sorry about that. Graham was just making um, a banana cake using our sugars, and um, he's going to send me the link, so if you want to watch it. So, hello, Amy. Amy Coyle is watching. Have you just only joined us, Amy? What does the whipping it up taste like? Is it really sweet? Um, well, it's sugar, isn't it's it? It's so sugar. Sugar would be sweet. <laughs> now this, I've mixed that with the chocolate and it's gone even stiffer. Yeah, good. That's even better, isn't it? Yeah, so I have mixed that with the chocolate. So, yes, you could put some uh, chocolate in there if you wanted to make like... Try uh, putting that in one of the, the moulds and see what it... I can do when it comes out. Or when it sets, I'll put this in the middle of one of the uh, chocolate... Mm. Let's put some on a biscuit. Let's put some on a biscuit for Carol. Yeah. Just a bit though. I've had that much, you can't be eating anymore. Are you sure? <laughs> I can't eat anymore. <laughs> what? Let it set, let it set in the fridge for a bit, see what it's... Well, I can't wait for it to set. No, because yeah. I want this to, uh, I don't want this to set. Do you want me to put it into, do you mean to see if it'll set into a mug? On the biscuit, I mean. Set on the, let it set on the biscuit, see what happens. See, what, see whether it goes like right. firm, like a... Okay. Right, Truffly Simon. type thing. Oh, do what you say. I, I, oh, do what you like. <laughs> right. well, do what you say, Simon. I'm not the boss, am so, I? I think I, I don't know. You're taking over. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Simon. I'm not going to do all those white ones, am I? Yeah. 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 I'm just going to do a little. I'm going to do the amount of bruises me and Carol have to make. We think you're the boss. Oh, I, I, who made this? Hey, right. who? Me. Where's ours? It made me one. <laughs> said you didn't want one. It made me one. I made you one. <laughs> it's there. Is it? Way. So hasn't it been a fantastic live? Hasn't Karen done so well? Really, very, very well. So anybody who's been watching, please share um, share the live. I keep forgetting to tell you actually, share the live to win a £25 voucher. Are we meant to be doing a draw? Do we have uh, one from Danielle's live last week? We did a load of draws I think we're up week. to date up to last Friday, weren't we? We're up to date on everything. Yeah. So I think we... Yeah, we didn't do Friday because we said we, we, they couldn't share it while we was doing it, so we were all up to date yeah. until last Friday. We yeah, were. so we're all up to date until last Friday. So we needed to do a draw for Danielle's live. Yeah. She did one on Monday, didn't she? Yes. And then, um, and Danielle is on tomorrow in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen from her own home. Yeah, and everyone's saying how brilliant you looked, you've done. Karen's done a great job. And you know, Karen's very new in front of the camera and I'm really very proud of her. She's been thrown in on the deep end and she has stuttered a few times. She's like, oh, ah, ah. Yeah, but, <laughs> but she has done amazingly and she's got the most amazing laugh, which you all love, which is brilliant. Stop and, uh, hey, Stop it. no, you know that. You always made me laugh. I like laughing with you. And we do have some good laughs, me and Karen, in the oh, kitchen. We have, we have great fun, don't we? Well, I, do, I enjoy watching you. I mean, you enjoy watching us? Yes. Oh, that's nice, Simon. Well, you know what, Simon? We prefer you on the camera than John. Because that friggin' John's a miserable one. He doesn't even join in the fun, does he, Karen? No, you, at least you do the, You do back lots of banter, Simon. Yeah, at least the door's <laughs> shut and, and he's not watching. And he's not listening. He knows. <laughs> I tell him he's miserable. <laughs> <laughs> John's very happy for you to be on the camera. I know. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen anybody give the job away so willingly. <laughs> very quick. I mean, there was, there was no... There was no one about it, Simon that? needs paying, that's fine, pay that's it, pay it, pay it. Yeah, no, everybody's loving that you're doing the uh, lives, Karen, which is brilliant. And we love, I love having Karen in the kitchen. As, as, do you know what, all our guests, I've absolutely loved having all our guests, but it's nice to be working with someone because I've worked in the kitchen for so long on my own. It's actually nice to share everything. And um, it's nice that I can walk away and just leave Karen to do a live solo. That's where the that's where the trouble is, isn't it, Simon? When me and you are doing it solo. <laughs> <laughs> we have more fun, don't we? We all we have fun, some fun. Yeah. And he ends and he goes, "You nearly managed it. You did fifty-eight minutes. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't get to the hour again." Karen's funniest bit, so we're doing lives, is when she does the intro. So by the time, last week I had to tell her, by the time she'd finished the intro, you lot hadn't even got to see it. That's how fast it was. I think she said everything in nine seconds. So I had to slow her down. I must admit, I watched it back and thought, oh yeah. Could you see what I was saying? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to 
saying to you. Get a cup of tea, hurry up. See you in a bit. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. So what Elijah's saying? John was always stuck in and diving, trying to hide from the from the cupboards, so we couldn't see him. Hide from the cupboards. Well, if you saw his reflection, oh. you could catch him yeah. in the reflection. And then oh, he was God. in the fridge. And everyone could see him pace into the fridge. John just spends his life in the fridge. Can you see me? Oh, I don't think oh, so. Oh, look at that. Angela Blagg says, you three are fabulous together. It's so much fun. It is really good it, fun, it, though, isn't it? Do you know it? what? I, it's, it's one of those jobs. I, I love coming to work. Yeah. I, I, I get a buzz yeah. because I have so much fun with you Well, two. you've been working for us now. It's over a year now, is it? It's two years. It's November. No way. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I started the day you came back from the show. Yeah. Yeah. Can I actually, actually, no, I started work at the show because I let you all yeah. go to your awards and, yeah. I, and I manned the show for the last hour. <laughs> With your mum? <laughs> With my mum. <laughs> you went, you went, you went, you went, Jane Temple it? says, oh, I bet oh, I bet yeah, those Irish yeah. cream bomb would taste gorgeous. Yeah. Mm. Don't you be tempting me, Jane. Oh. Do you know, I could mix the Baileys with the chocolate and then coat the shell. <gasps> oh, Jane, you've got me thinking. <laughs> you've got me thinking for Christmas. I'm just going to do three. I'm going to put these in the fridge just to set now because I'm going to do a second coat because with the white chocolate, I've noticed it does go quite thin. So the white chocolate ones will definitely need two coats. Yeah. So Sandra, the whipping it up was sold out, but John's just put it back into stock. So it actually sold out very, very fast. We're really pleased. I don't think we've ever sold. We made 200 bags of each flavour and they were gone. They were actually gone by... I think Saturday afternoons. I think the last ones have just triggered out. The, the black cherry was the slowest one, but they've gone. But this is a multi mix. This is not just a Swiss meringue buttercream. Let me just reiterate we never made this to be a buttercream mix, it was to make lots of things. And this is why we're showing it you. We wanted to show you um, how to make pavlova, shortbread, royal icing, macarons, mousse, Swiss meringue buttercream, biscuits. You know, there's lots of things. And the fluff we only learned about on Friday, and that was down to you guys. You know, I don't know who shouted it out, but one of you guys on Friday said, would it make fluff? And we had no idea, did we, Karen? We didn't, not at all. And uh, it worked out, yeah, it made fluff, but with a little bit of tweaking, it's, it's made good fluff. Mm. But then Karen's taken it home and played with it at home, and her daughter is a fluff fan, or the fluff queen. And uh, she has been uh, looking up some, doing some research, and added another ingredient to it. The moulds we don't sell, and um, and we don't sell the transfer sheets either. You need to go onto Amazon for the moulds and go and see Tracy Mann for the tra transfer sheet. I'm just going to take these ones out. These are the caramel ones, double uh, the sorry the caramel gold, which tastes like caramel. The caramel gold. I'll take these ones out. These have been double coated. You are right. It is better, ladies. Thank you. It is a lot better being double coated. So, um, the like and share, you just share it with all your friends, Madeline. You share it with any groups that you're in, providing you've got permissions to share. You share it with any friends that you've got. Share it to your own page as well. Who's, uh, Kathy Eaton says, who's chomping on a biscuit? We can hear that. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I can't, we can't do nothing can't in this kitchen, nothing, can you? Can't, Everybody knows everything, know. don't they? <laughs> so that's the, 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 the Calibut Gold. I'm going to get the ruby out in a moment. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut into that dark one for you. To make a fry milk. I'm, trying, well, I'm using that in a moment. I'm using that in a minute. Sorry, it's not full of this bit. <laughs> oh. No, no it's, there's nothing in that one, it's an empty one. Put these over here. I need the white chocolate in a minute. Oh. Sam asking me to do lots of things. Mix that with that, do that with that. The mousse, the mousse I just put in stock. You know what, I'll double check that I put the mousse in stock. I'm sure I put it in stock. We can't possibly have sold out. I bought loads of it. That is very strange if it has been yeah. sold out because like you said, you bought loads, didn't you? But I can get some more mousse in, so I'll get it in with the chocolate. Um, we've got chocolate coming. Um, the chocolate from is arriving into Calibo on Friday. No, on the 27th. When's the 27th? Wednesday, isn't it? Yes. So I should get my delivery on Friday. I've got it open. Oh, look at that, Karen. 
Woohoo! Look so, it up with the camera for Simon. I'm, uh, look at that. Right. You're right. You can see it there. So look you at see, that. I've got them. I've just How broken, yummy yum. Because it's been in the fridge, it's quite hard. So it has set quite nice there. It has the jam in the centre. Simon, so it has the jam in the centre. It has set quite hard. Um, I was a bit generous with the chocolate, so of course the ends are very, very firm there. It's not dripping so out. Can't say no to more chocolate. No, anymore. and it's one of those things now with putting the syrup in it. It's made it a little bit firmer that it's not just going to slip out. Yeah, I'm well, going we to don't want nothing slipping out. Do Absolutely we? not. We want to be able to see that. We look at that. Do you want one, Carol? I, Karen, if I eat any more food tonight, <laughs> I'm going to be ill. Tell you, I've had everything you've made tonight. I'll have one of them in a minute. Oh, Simon's going to have one. What's happened to his uh, gluten-free ones? They're on that plate. Oh, are they? They're on that board, yeah. That's funny. Jane Temple said I could just face plant that. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the ruby chocolate. So just asking, do you think you could mix the mousse with the fluff? I don't see no reason why not. You can make the mousse with this whipping it up, you know. Is that set? That is setting. So I'm going to put that in. And make it in. <laughs> well, that's that's actually gonna, quite good. I'm going to make it because it's going to be. It'll be like a truffly effect, mm, really, yeah, rather yeah. than a. And that's just mixed. Can you remember which ones the Simon's are asking? Yeah, I uh, saw them. Yeah, you can tell because they haven't they haven't got a bit sticking out the bottom because the, the biscuit's not on. He's hoping. <laughs> I'm not telling him. I'm going to make him bite all of them. Claire Rooney, you do not want to know how much I've eaten, but let's just say my bra is bursting. And if Simon wasn't here, this thing would be off. <laughs> I'm in absolute agony. It's getting that tight. Tell them, the kitchen must be cooling down, because everything's, <laughs> everything's, everything's <laughs> setting on them. <laughs> Nearly there. Thanks for staying with us, guys. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for staying with us. And don't forget to like and share. And the whipping up product is back in stock. You won't get it on next day though. I put it back in stock. It means basically it's on the production list for this week. So um, so you won't get it next day. So it will be dispatched later on in the week, which is great if you want to hang on then and then the calibre will be back in. But um, I think John's going to have to make double the amount because we think, so, I think be busy, Saturday we just sold out, didn't we? Yeah. And we made 200 units of every flavour and it's just blown out. So I'm not going to put a biscuit. Do you want to put a biscuit on that one? Is this Simon's? Do I get it? Do you want this one? You should split that one up. See what yeah, no, know. give it to Simon. We're not having any more no, chocolate. We don't, we don't need it. I, don't, I don't need it. You can take that one home and lick it all night. Well, it's set sometimes. solid, hasn't that it? Has set, that has set, so I'm going to leave that one there like that. And then we've got a bit of whipping up here. <laughs> which will just... Oh, dare me to whip my bra off. I can't put Simon through that. Me and Simon have been friends for seven years. It could end a very good friendship. <laughs> he might resign. <laughs> uh, velvet vanilla. The big bags are back in stock. The small bags, let me just tell you now, the, the problem we've got is, is that all our bags are actually made in China. And then having them made, having them sent over um, is so expensive. So the company has convinced us to have them sent whatever way it is, rather than flying them, because we always fly them over. And they're now stuck in Poland, so we're waiting for bags. So a lot of you are getting bags with a white, just a white homemade label on, which is really sad because we hate seeing our branding like that. but. Um, but anyhow, but the big bags of velvet vanilla is in stock, and I'm not sure about the small ones. Ooh, where are Mrs. Homemade mixed berry jam. Mix, oh, yes, yeah. Mixed berry jam. So, this, this jam you made following Daniel Crouch's recipe, didn't you? It's equal measures. To it's, say it's gorgeous. It's equal measures of fruit to sugar, and I used preserving sugar because I wanted to keep it in the fridge. I didn't want to use it within like a week. I wanted to keep it. In it. I've had this one two weeks now. Yeah. It's absolutely great. Oh, it's delicious. So I hope you're all excited. Those who are on the mini nifty nozzle class tomorrow, I hope you're all excited. We'll be back here tomorrow. Are you all excited too, Simon? That was only a day off. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not off. No. Oh, no. <laughs> we can't both have the day off. No. 
It's Carol going solo. <laughs> you, you've got to work the camera. I don't think I'm going to have a bra big enough to fit me. There might be another set of things sat on those mini nozzles, on those mini cakes. Right, okay. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing all, everyone's creations again. I yeah. love it when they post them and the, you see everything that they've done. Yeah. The Cupcake Bouquet group is a beautiful oh, group. It's, it's, it's lovely, absolutely. It? The, the, you are all so much fun in there. You, you have me in stitches. I like when Jane, uh, Jane's got in there. Let's all do the conga. Yeah. She's got everyone joining in. <laughs> they don't care if I take my bra off. Simon might. I'm going to pop those in the <laughs> fridge. So it's been a great night everyone. Thank you very much. Oh good to see your cupcake your cupcakes are uh, you a baked Nikki. Karen's got to make mine in the morning. I saw that on the you, I there. tell you what you missed today. I got out the pan and showed them how to put the boiled rice, uh, the, the dried rice in. So after the live when we were cleaning down for Molly's, completely forgot the rice was in the pan. So I went and grabbed the, the um, tin to put in the cupboard and flung rice all over the kitchen, all over my feet, everywhere. I was like, oh lordy. Oh dear. Is that why there was not a lot of rice up in that container? Yeah. I think it was the rice gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sweep it all up, it could be ages. I only had 10 minutes before we went live again. Right, what I'm gonna do now. Release the puppies. <laughs> no, don't keep them, keep them in the kennel, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are quick there, Karen. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get a wet pot and tidy down. So what are we waiting for now then, Karen? Nothing. But, well, we're going to just tidy down now and get everything out that we've made. Right, so we're going to get, Karen's going to get everything out. I would help her clean up, but I'm knackered and that full. And my bra's that tight, I can't do anything. <laughs> so as right. she says, keep them in the kennel. <laughs> <laughs> this dishwasher's going on over time again. So we're just having a little tidy up before we take them out of the fridge. So in terms of classes, I'll just go over the classes. We've got three online classes set up. We have um, my Cupcake Bouquet class, which is storming. Everybody is loving that. Every month we're gonna do a different theme. Once you've paid to go into the class, you then get every class for free. It's an absolute bargain, 50 pounds, it's a no brainer. Absolutely. And um, the, um, you're invited into the group and the group is amazing. The good thing is the lives you can watch back at your leisure and you can go back to them whenever you want. We're also doing another online class with Molly Robbins, exactly the same way. £60 for that class, and it's exactly the same way. She'll come in every month to six weeks, do another class, or at her leisure, and then they're yours to keep forever. And it will be filmed here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And then her first class is on the 5th of June. Mine is the 13th of June, and then we've got Georgie Gottbold coming in, and she's on the 30th of June. So the class is on the website. I've not invited you to the group yet because I'm still building the group, so do not panic if you're not in the group yet for Georgie Gottbold. It's because I'm still building it, and Simon's going to design me a beautiful banner for the group tomorrow, aren't you, Simon? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's that one. And then we've got Hector. So I've just got to sort out Hector's group. Hector makes the most amazing flowers. So I'm sorry I'm not stood in front of here, but I can't stand up anymore. No, you're so, right. um, um, so Hector, I know because we, we can't stay out the camera too way, too long, Karen. No. So um, Hector, now. Right. Hector is, um, does the most amazing flowers with his flexible face. Voila. Well, uh, forget Hector's flowers. Let's talk about these. <laughs> I just can't. The ruby ones haven't set, so they're, not, really, set they're not set yet. The ruby chocolate ones. So we can take a picture of those afterwards. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I just tied the top now. They're not set enough to bring out. Yeah. Is that probably? I probably took these out of the mould a little bit too, too quickly, soon, yeah. but it's because I wanted to show you how good they are. Yeah. Yeah, I think you should leave them in the moulds a couple of hours. Yes, you, absolutely. Yeah. 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 But for the live, we've only got so much time, yeah. Karen. So that's the thing. So, um, anyhow, so amazing job, Karen. Absolutely well done. Come on, guys, show us your appreciation. Show this live, share it with everybody you know. Um, let's get that whipping it up in your shopping baskets. It's back in stock. Um, it will be in production in the middle of this week. Yes. It's sold, it sold out over the weekend. It's been fabulous. And this is a multi-mix. It's not Swiss meringue buttercream. It's a multi-mix. And one of the things it can do is make Swiss meringue buttercream. But it's for mousse, pavlovas, macarons, um, fluff. Uh, what else can it make? Biscuits. Yeah, it makes biscuits. Um, it actually makes cake as well. 
So we've just got to perfect it. And I've also got another recipe that I'm going to practice on this week, which I'll show you later on the live. I just want to wait for something to arrive. And when that arrives, I can show you. Right, that's nice. cherry stuck to it. The cherry stuck, which shows you that that melted chocolate really works. So we're going to cut it. Do you want to cut it this way? I don't know which way to cut it. No, do it long way. Do it long ways. Yeah. Pull the cherry off. <laughs> I want to cut it that way at the start at the top. Oh, 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 look at that. So as you can tell, it's not, it's not, it's not dribbling out. Yeah, that's what we want. We don't want dribbly fluff now, don't do we? Don't want dribbly fluff. So it is there, you've got a really good bottom on it, you've got a really good top, and that is a nice sticky fluff. And that is black cherry flavour. Yeah. And come on guys, this black cherry smells divine. Give it a go. Yeah, Absolutely, give it a go. Yeah. Give it a go. Yeah. All five flavours sold out, but the black cherry was the, was the last one to sell. Um, the moulds, so we're not putting no links up, but the moulds are on Amazon. And if you're on Amazon Prime, you'll get them the next day. Karen did. So all you need to do is go to Amazon Prime, pop in chocolate silicone moulds, and you can choose any design you want. Um, we advise that you probably set them in the fridge longer than we have, yeah. but this is a two hour live. We didn't want a five hour live, mm -hmm. so I'd probably give it a little bit longer. And... Um, Definitely double coat. Definitely, yeah. definitely do two coats. I'm just going to show you now the ones I did before with one coat to show you the difference there. Yeah. I'm just going to bring up a couple because a couple have started just leaking a little bit, and you are right. You can tell. You can tell the difference with one coat. One coat. So There's one Helen coat. Ball, if oh, you can yeah. message me, that would be great. Yeah, I would say two coats. Definitely Karen. two coats. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But anyhow, so these are going to back to Karen's house. Some are going to the warehouse. Simon's got a couple for him. Do we know which ones are Simon's now? You've modelled them all up. Yeah. Well, Simon's are still down there. Isn't Simon's you? are there. Simon's are somewhere around here. We can, I can tap it. I can see them. I've kept my eye on them all along. <laughs> Right, I so that's them. us done now. Shall we say goodbye to everybody? So thank you for the like and share. Thank you, Karen, thank for you. doing a marvellous job. She is our queen of our fluff <laughs> <laughs> and our whipping it up and our pavlova and our meringue and our Swiss meringue buttercream. And if you go to the top of our page, you'll see the full calendar of where we are this week. We are Facebook Live crazy this week. We are everywhere. So Cupcake Bouquets, I will see you in class tomorrow at one o'clock in the group with Karen and Simon. Um, and then tomorrow night is Danielle Kreitch. Wednesday, we're having a day off, I think we are. I think we're not, well, we're not having a day off, no, we're no, working, we're here, yeah. but we're here. Yeah. Thursday morning, Tracy Mann, and then my daughter on um, Thursday night. She'll be in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Friday, it's Karen and I. And hopefully, if my little plan goes well, we'll uh, have, have that ready. We'll have another lab on that. I just don't know what I'm doing otherwise. <laughs> no, well, I'm hoping my little thing will work. And then uh, Friday night, I'm in the Cake Artist Global Isolation Room. Is that that? I, know. I, I thought you were going to say ward. I think, that's, <laughs> I think that's a short version. What is it? Is it called Cake Artist? Is it called Global Cake Artist? Global Cake Artist. Is it There's a Global Cake Artist. No. Cake, what is it? Global, global isolation room. Oh, well, well wherever somewhere it is, I'm like, somewhere. Yeah. Have a look at the title. <laughs> and then on Friday, on Saturday, I'm in Cake Flicks. So that's what we've got to film on Thursday, Cake Flicks. So as you can see, we've got a really busy week ahead. And please try it. Do the tea cakes. Do the chocolates. These chocolates, these will look amazing on your yeah. table. You will wow your friends. Yeah. And as you said, you can use any toppings. Do raspberry ripple, put a raspberry in it, put a raspberry on the top. You do put a raspberry strawberry. inside it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and put a strawberry on the top. Yeah. You could dip the strawberry in chocolate as well. Absolutely. Yeah, I would half dip the strawberry in chocolate. You like half dipping <gasps> strawberries. Yeah. Yes. Right, so well done, Karen. Should we go? Yes. Should we go, everyone? Bye. Bye. Thanks, Simon. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Karen. Love hearts, everyone. <laughs> share, share, share. Big kisses. Bye. Take your bras off. <laughs>